Hey guys, hey everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. Y'all know it's your girl Twin D and if you never know, now you know. But anyways guys, thank you so much for stopping by the camp. Thank you so, so much for your continuous support. I love you all. Big up on yourself. Long time subscribers. You already know the drill. Big up on yourself. Enough respect. And thank you all for the support. Listen, this is a very important message. I don't know. They just keep coming in today. They just keep coming in. There is something you need to know in regards to your divine masculine right now and the next step that they are either taking right now or they're going to take. So let's jump right in and let's see what's happening. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys. Oh, if you're hearing like a humming sound in the background, that's coming. Whoops, sorry. That's coming from the outside, and your girl can't do anything about it. So let me apologize from now. All right, let's jump right back to your message. There's a divine mask in here who has, or they were trapped in a very 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 toxic situation whether this was a a, a toxic um, relationship that i'm i'm getting or or or, or this is like in regards to themselves but whatever they were stuck in it was so toxic divine feminine you would, i don't think you would have wanted to experience the amount of toxicity that this person went through this person, uh, this person, it, it, it felt like they were beaten down to a pulp. They were beaten down to their last because of what they have been experiencing and what they were going through. And part of this is because they had refused to change whatever they were hanging on to, whatever this toxic situation is or was, they refused to let go off of it. So it seems like because they refused to let go off of um, that situation, it seemed like everything now just started to crumble everything for these divine masculine it's like it could be the worst day every day it could be their worst day every day of their life all because they were stuck on toxic behaviors toxic people toxic situations and they didn't want to release it your person avoided the destruction around them viewing it in a okay i'm already here situation so i'll just work with it situation ignoring their own feelings ignoring love ignoring happiness and joy so he, this person this divine mask and they've been through a lot of suffering they've been through a lot of heartache a lot of pain and this is what happens when we ignore the changes that happen or that are happening in our lives, whether it's a masculine or us. Whenever we ignore the changes that we are supposed to make, whenever we see and know of the toxic behaviors in our lives and we refuse to change, this is how our lives turn out. Because when God is trying to show you like, this is not good for you. You need to go. You need to move. Because I have the tower here. And it's in the reverse. So they were hanging on to that situation. And God was trying to say to them, this is not good for you. You have to go. You have to let it go. But they didn't listen. All because they had refused to change in the past. But this is, like I said, it's a very, very toxic situation because what this message about is about is the devil energy. It's a devil energy. So all this toxic behavior, people, places, things, animals, emotions, those things needed to crumble. They needed to go. But what your masculines did wrong here, they hang on to those things. Or because they couldn't see love for what it truly is. 
But things are changing. Your masculines are elevating, guys. Whoever these masculines are, whoever it is that went through that cycle, this person came out like a diamond. This person has been reborn brand new. This person is now this most beautiful spiritual being you've ever met. This person is so connected to God. When you see this person, you're going to be like, I thought I was the spiritual one. I thought I loved God. This person is going to be teaching you things about yourself that you didn't even know. That's why I tell you guys, keep working on you, keep doing you. Because the changes that are, that, that are happening within your divine masculine, you're not seeing them. But they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Whenever union happens for you and your divine masculine, permanent union that is, not the little half-half ones, <laughs> where they come in today, they talk to you for a couple of days and then they go again. No, the permanent one, the last one. When that happens, your masculines will be taking back their power. They will be standing back in their leadership role as the emperor. And that's why you're not even going to believe that this is a person that, well, was running away from you for no reason. This person is going to be standing there looking you in your eyes you're, and you're going to be scared. <laughs> you're going to be scared like, oh my God, what's happening? Why, 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 why is this person looking at me like that? What's going on? What are they thinking? This person... Is the emperor you've always wanted. And that's why I always encourage you guys. Keep working on yourself. So that you can match their energy. And they can match yours. Because when they're standing in such a power. You're going to have to be able to match that power. Your divine masculine. They're looking for this brand new beginning here. They're looking for this stability. They are looking for a new start. And they see that with you. There's a new chapter that's going to happen here. A new chapter in your life. A new chapter in your divine masculine's life. A new chapter is about to be written for both of you. There's a new chapter coming with this Ace of Pentacles, guys. A new chapter. And it's all because of you. It's all because of how they view you. The divine feminine. They see you. They realize that you are not like their past. They see you as this person that has everything together. This queen of wands energy. You're stable. You're secure. You're strong. You're brave. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You are who you say you are and you're standing in that power as well. There's a lot that these divine masculines have put to an end. And let me tell you, all that toxic energy has left. All that toxic energy is gone. This divine masculine is a brand new energy. We have the death energy as the overall energy. So everything that didn't belong in their life, they put an end to it. No more third-party karmic person. No more third-party karmic job. No more third-party karmic emotions, insecurities, whatever. It's gone. It's done. 911. Oh my gosh. So you see how important this message is for someone to know. A new chapter is about to begin. And Divine Feminines, I do hope that you are ready for this new chapter. That's why I'm telling you, keep working on yourself. Keep focusing on you and God. Because when that chapter is ready to be revealed, you better be ready to match that energy. The Seven of Pentacles is in the middle. So from here on out, things are going to grow. Things are going to be stable. Things are going to be secure. It's like you're going to also be repaid 
for what you lost in the past. You're going to be abundant. You're going to be prosperous, both you and this Divine Masculine. So keep your energy straight, Divine Feminine. Keep your energy focused on God. Keep your energy focused on your job. Keep your energy focused on moving away from that situation that does not serve you. Your masculines, they will come around. And this is how you know that you're truly your divine masculine. Because when you focus on you, when you release, they will always return. This has been your message, guys. Take care of yourself. Congratulations to whomever this message is for. Love you all. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next message. Later.